Hey guys, Simon and Alex here from Top Tennis Training and this video is all about the forehand grips, the different grips that you have. The first grip is the Eastern forehand grip. So the heel pad is this and the index knuckle is here. Are on bevel number three. You can hit a low ball very easily with this grip. The strings are very open towards the court. High balls are difficult with this grip because it's hard to get spin on that grip on the high ball. But some players do use this grip. Roger Feather is one of the players who uses this grip. So let's take a look at this grip in action. So the next grip is a semi-western grip. This is the most commonly used grip amongst professionals and this is because you can generate with this grip, you can generate good top spin, but you can also flatten out the shot. So you have the, the variety of the semi-western. The contact zone could also be quite long. If you think on the eastern forehand grip, you can hold the racket, the strings facing the direction you're hitting for a long time. You can also do the same with a semi-western, whereas with a western, the contact point is much thinner is much shorter. So with a semi-western you can hit through the ball but you can also get good top spin. So players that use this grip are Rafael Nadal, Andy Murray, Joe Wilfred Songer and most of the female professionals use this same grip. Semi-western. So the western forehand grip is the third grip that we're going to talk about. This is where you see the strings almost close the whole time and they only open at contact point. Now this doesn't allow you to hit through the ball as much as a semi-western and the eastern forehand grip, but you can generate huge amounts of topspin with this grip. Also a lot of juniors use this grip because they handle high balls very easily with this grip. So the, the highest ranked professional that uses this grip is Novak Djokovic. And there are a few other professionals, but mostly professionals stay away from that grip because you're not allowed to, you can't flatten it out as much as with the semi western or the eastern. Also, something to note that the low balls are almost quite difficult when you, when you come up with a full western grip yep. because uh, obviously the strings are pointing down, so it's very diff difficult to lift the ball up. So, you imagine the ball bouncing down here with a full western grip is extremely hard, whereas something bouncing up here is much easier with that western grip. Give me a low one. A really low one. Ah! So guys, there you can see the different shots that we produce with the different grips. 
you can see how hard it is with a full western grip to handle a low ball. So the safest bet I would say is the semi-western because you can play with that grip on any surface. If you're playing on clay, you're probably going to use a semi-western or a western grip. If your main surface is a low bouncing fast court, you're probably going to play with the eastern or the semi-western. But the semi-western is the most used grip amongst the professionals and that's because it's the most versatile grip there is for the forehand. Try out all three if you want to and you can find out which one works better for you. And thank you guys for watching the video. Hopefully this will help you decide which grip to play with on your forehand.